Hello, this is Mr. Doty again, and always again, and again, and again, gotta have fun with this stuff, you know. So, um, today, what we're going to work on is uh, some more descriptive geometry, and um, as far as what it's similar to, it would be assignment number 10, uh, let's see, and probably number 11. So, a couple of different ones here. Uh, but it's the same objective, so we'll just look at um, we'll look at it this way. So basically, you have the fold line method, oops, and you have the revolution method. You know, notice I have some geometry hanging out over here on the other side. I borrowed somebody else's um, file that was already drawn up so that I could help you guys figure out how to do this. So basically we start out with this. We have this line. Here's the front view. Uh, here's the horizontal or top view. And basically um, I'm looking at this line and neither one of these views is parallel with my fold line. Alright, so in the fold line method what we do to get our true length line is we need to create a fold line parallel to one of these views and um, it's just as easy to go up as it is to go down but it doesn't matter which one you do obviously uh, either way is correct I'm going to use this one since I already have some geometry set up um, so I already have this uh, fold line parallel with this and if you're wondering how to get a line parallel one of the things that I've showed you in some of the other videos is if you go to your parametric constraints, uh, I mean you can go to your param oops, you can, uh, gee. you can go to your parametrics here and you could click on parallel, or if you've got your pull down menu, you can click on geometric constraints and click on parallel, and then you basically just pick the line that you want to be as your base and then the other line that you want to be parallel and you pick it and now they are parallel which is pretty cool so anyway um, all right so that's just a little how to do that all right so now that I have it parallel with this view I need to measure off of this view remember Whatever view you project from, you measure from here. Um, before I measure, I need to make some perpendicular projection lines, right? Which I just so happen to already have made. And I'm going to go back here. And so, what I normally do, if I'm doing it from scratch, is I go up here to draw, I pick on ray, and then I draw and then I do perpendicular and there you go there's your lines so these points are on these lines somewhere up here to get the measurements for that I need to go to offset and then I need to measure perpendicular to that guy and then offset a fold line I'm gonna go back out and back in so that I can pick my distances and there you go alright so um, let's back up for a sec okay so what have we done so far first of all we created a parallel line with one of our lines one of our views uh, one of our lines and one of our views then we created perpendicular projection lines from the endpoints, and then we measured in this view down here because you have to, you can't measure from the view that you're projecting from. You have to go to the next view back or the adjacent view back one, or it's back two from here, however you want to think about it. But if you project from it, you measure from the other. Just remember that. Alright, so then I took my measurements from here to here, is from here to here, 
So that's point H. So um, I'm going to take my H over here that I already have. And I'm going to stick it on that intersection point there. And then I'm going to take my G. And I am going to put that right here. Because that is the distance from here up to my fold line. So that's what this distance is from here to here. Okay? The only thing that would be left to do would be to draw a line from that intersection to that intersection and that would be our true length line like so pretty simple pretty easy no big deal and then when you're done you can erase your construction uh, geometry that you don't need so that you're left with this and that's what we call the fold line method all right, so let's move on down to our revolution method. Now, you probably figured out that revolution means revolve. Revolve means to rotate. So the same idea is, is that I need a line that's parallel with my fold line. So what I need to do is I need to draw a line that... Um, which one do I want to do? I was going to say I do this one, but I don't know that it matters. Either way, it doesn't matter. So uh, here's what I'll do. I will rotate off of H, and I'll rotate it down. So what I'll do is I'll draw a line, and I will draw it over this direction like so. Now what I usually do is I go in and draw a radius circle from here up to here. So, if I were to take this line and rotate it down, then it would end at this intersection. So, what I'll do is I'll go to Trim, and, oops, well, and trim that out. Okay, now I'm going to delete my circle because I don't need it. Alright, so this is now where point G would be. So, um, whoever did this one must have used H, but I'm just going to re renumber this guy, sticking right here, and I'm going to call it G1, and I guess we'll turn our cap box back on. All right. Okie doke. So there's G1, right? All right, well, what that means is if I were to take a line down here in the adjacent view, draw my line over like so. So what that means is if I take where I rotated my line down and I come straight down here, okay? So I draw a line straight over from the point that I'm going to be projecting over and then I draw my line down where I've rotated it so if it's parallel here it's true length here okay then all I have to do is draw a line now to there guy is right here and I can do the same thing I can copy this over like so and there you go so basically all I did let's recap is I drew a line horizontally right over this way parallel with this because it's horizontal uh, if it was some other direction, whatever the fold line was, then I would make it parallel with it, and I would make it go from H parallel, whichever direction I need to go. Then I would draw a circle from H to G, and wherever that 
circle intersects this line, I trim it back, and then I can project this down, right? And then I can draw a line over, straight over, and wherever they intersect, that is my point. So, that's pretty straightforward. And so now, this is the true length line. Like so. And I don't need those guys. Alright, so, now you've seen both methods. We've done the fold line method. The fold line method, you had to go by and make an actual, another fold line parallel with one of your views, one of your lines in your views, and then you're going to measure from the other view on this other side of your fold line that you make, and you line up your lines perpendicular with the fold line through these points, and you draw them out this direction, right? And then you measure how far these points are and that's why we label our points so that we can follow our points through our fold lines and then project so you know if I was drawing a line and it goes from here to here to here right and this distance here from the fold line down to H is the same as this distance from this fold line up to H and it's all lined up with perpendicular to the fold lines like so Alright, hopefully that makes sense. Alright, so then on the revolution method, it's a little different. Um, I use I use the fold line method most of the time, just because I find it's not as confusing to me. Um, but the revolution method is fine. Uh, basically, I rotate my line down. Um, so I need a line that's going from H, parallel with this however far out over this way and then I need to take a line and or take a circle and draw it from here to here now if you know how to use the rotate copy command <laughs> theoretically you could do that with this as well but that's a little more complicated I wanted to keep it kind of simple and so I just draw a line over and I kind of think about it it's like a, how I make a door symbol for architectural drawing. Uh, so then I have a circle that comes out the length of the swing of the door, if you will. And um, in this case, I'm drawing the line for the open, you know, like if the door was shut, because it's parallel with this. And uh, so then I have wherever the circle and the line meet, that's where G is, in this case, or G1. So if it's parallel here, it's true length down here. And you basically take this, draw a line straight over, and then draw your line straight down. And wherever they intersect, there's your point. Alright, so I hope that this little short video helps you out with numbers 10 and 11. And, um, you know, it doesn't matter what angle your, um, whether this is horizontal or vertical, the same procedure will be done. Okay? So if you have any questions, obviously, you want to communicate with me, and uh, hopefully this helps you out, and we'll see you on the next video.